Hi guys, this is Helium Lemon 15. Welcome to part. Pff, welcome to part three of And Yet It Moves. And uh, today is October 21st. It's 1:22 p.m. in the afternoon. That's kind of redundant. And it's 10 days till Halloween, which is kind of crazy, and I still have no idea if I'm going to dress up or who I'm going to dress up as, or if I'm even going to participate at all in the Halloween festivities. Although I think there shall be some fun Halloween festivities at my school. And look at these palm trees. It's like I thought we were in like the Pacific Northwest kind of forest, and now we're suddenly in like, I don't know, Miami Beach. So, um, yeah, what's up? How's it going? We're continuing through the forest level of this um, trippy game. Hopefully people are, are have been enjoying watching me play this game. Have, haven't got too motion sick. Um, yeah, all the episodes of this have been post-commentary so far, but I've been like, I've been enjoying both playing and commentating it. Artfully dodged that pit right there, yeah. Pit. Kid Icarus, except I know nothing about those games. And I really don't know what to talk about today. See, usually when I just do post-commentary, I'm like, you know, watch the game and think of what to say. And, uh, yeah, this is... Oh, I, I like this, uh, all the vocal the vocal sound effects and the music. I can imitate that the whole time, but I think that's gonna get annoying very quickly. Could talk about 1950s, like, sci-fi horror movies. Could talk about Frank Zappa. Could talk about pop music. Talk about pop music. shooby dooby doo bop 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 shoo wop <sighs> Um, yeah, I'm recording this from home, from, um, my bedroom at my parents' house, which I'm still so confused by the fact that I live at college and then I return to my parents' house over the weekends or however often I do it. I'm still trying to get into the rhythm of college, and I think I need to be, like, more disciplined and, like, I don't know, focusing more on my work. And I say that while I'm recording this, so I don't know. Recording this is just kind of relaxing for me, just watching these, uh, ooh, change of landscape. Just watching these paper cutouts of trees go by and, uh, Turning myself around, spinning the world right round like a record. So, uh, this level is called Horny Pet, and that's why. See, they have like a little, uh, like cutout of like a, I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a hamster or a gerbil or some kind of rodent. Put like a little red eye on him, and then like a couple horns on him, and you literally just like. I don't know that you're supposed to ride him, like I like riding the little demon hamster thing just cause it's fun. Look at that guy, look at that guy go, he's so cute. Like the little running animation. He makes like a little cute grunting noise, he's like, hmm, hmm. He bangs his head against the thing, it's like the little cartoon birdies over his head. Alright, we're not gathering enough, like, speed to be able to knock this wall down. See, how long will it take us to be able to gather up the speed to knock down that wall? Okay, yeah, that helps. We're going downhill. Going downhill like Justin Bieber's career. Is, do people still talk about Justin Bieber? They really do. Like, come on. I don't know. Sometimes humanity is just weird in what it considers popular. Never considers things popular because they're tasteful. 
Although I apologize if there are people who actually like appreciate Justin Bieber. And have like legitimate reasons to not just like appreciate him because oh my gosh. Yeah, get that checkpoint. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That's fun. Oh, I love this like earth texture, like with the cracks in it. Like it looks it's like so satisfying. It's like digging your fingers into like some dry mud or something. Alright. Nice. Oh, I love that. I jumped over him. And let's see if I can try um, riding him out of the level. I think I, I'm able to ride the demon hamster. Which is what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him Skippy the Demon Hamster. See if I can ride him all the way to the end of the level. Yeah. Nice. See, I can't whistle, or I have a very hard time whistling normally but I can whistle through my teeth because I have like a little gap in the front uh, in the top of my front teeth so I can like tch, nice I can whistle really high pitched but I have a hard time whis whistling normally like like I don't know I can sometimes get more of a sound than that I can also uh, make like this kind of high pitched cricket sound and I'll do it real quick, it'll just be really annoying. But like, I can um, whistle through the gap in my teeth and then like kind of like do like a little lip trill, like vibrate my lips uh, while doing it. So it sounds like. Ah, I don't know. You could kind of, you could hear it. It's just like way too much breath sound. But yeah, like I like doing that sound. Like if somebody says like a joke and has no reaction. No, that sounds bad. Okay, anyway. Anyway. How's life? I don't want to talk about politics. I want to talk about like something cool. I don't know. Books or something. Music. I feel like so out of touch with the current times just because like my focus has just been on like school and like my schedule and like how to, I don't know, just figure out everything I'm doing and like balance fun and work and school work and music and I don't know. I just don't want to think about that right now. Having a hard time thinking about real life. I could talk about girls, except no. I don't feel like doing that. Talk about girls as if they're like an object, like music or cars. No. I don't feel like doing that. Talk about physics, except I'm terrible at physics. My physics teacher really liked me. He said I had a good mind for physics. I don't know. I enjoyed physics. Like, I did pretty well on the physics, like, state test that I had to take on the, at the end of the year. Um, I just... I don't know. How oh, I talked about this before. My teacher was kind of, like not the best teacher, so it was hard to learn anything from that class. But, like, the way I got through, like, the state test at the end of the year, um, was just, like, I just relied on all the formulas, and I was like, okay, they're gonna give me all the formulas in the back of the test, or, and... The formulas are easy if you know how to use them, because you just plug in the numbers and you get your answer. And I'm going to just figure out what each problem is telling me to do, what formula it wants me to do, and just, yeah, just use the formulas. So, welcome to Rock Storm. It's just raining rocks. So, careful not to get smashed. Oh, I think that's what this level is called. It's called Avalanche. Avalanche! Ah, oh, we played this game in 
English class where we would yell avalanche and then everybody would like run to the other side of the room. It was fun. Good times. I really miss high school. Like high school I actually enjoyed my classes. My academic classes. Like I enjoyed my math teacher, I enjoyed my English teacher. My ethics teacher in college is all right. I just don't like enjoy the class that much. And I haven't like really clicked with her yet, so. Man, I wanna be like, you know, I wanna be like doing something like funny and creative for class. Like, you know, John O'Chrome making like his animations about John Steinbeck for the English class. I wanna do like, like how, how like in 10th grade I randomly made like a serial commercial for English class. I wanna be doing that again. That was fun, that was creative. I made myself laugh and I was also creative. But hey, I can still be creative, but it's like, it's it's just different. I don't know. Anyway. So in this level we have to be like um, Paleolithic man and make some fire from striking flint against flint or something. And remember that you're made of paper, so you will burn instantly. Well, not instantly, it'll give you like a few seconds and then your character will burn up and explode. Explode! Is that a, like a fly on the paper in the background? Okay, n never mind. Oh, uh, and then... Ah, this, this is always confusing to me, like I can never figure out where I'm actually supposed to hit the rock to get it to do a thing. Not there. Gordon Ramsay. Michael Bay. Um. Michael. Michael. I don't know. Okay, bear with me while I figure out how this is supposed to work, because that looks like where you're supposed to hit the rock, doesn't it? I think you're supposed to hit it, like, up there, higher. You can hit it there. Oh, but the pieces of flint are getting too small from, like, how many times they, like, hit something. Oh, yeah. Well, that worked. Like, I, I, like, got, I got set on fire, but it still worked. I don't know what that was. I can't make them, that monkey sound. I can do a Ringo voice, but I can't make the monkey sound. Oh yeah, watch out for those bees. I like I like the uh, acapella bees or like the bee sound effect. The zoom zoom zoom. Uh, there's one level that's like kind of a bonus level after the end of the game, and there's so many bees, and it's like the most annoying level ever. One because it's like the bonus levels after you finish the game are so much harder. And to um, that particular level, you hear that sound so much. You hear this zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm gonna be playing Breath of the Wild. Like, let's see, how much time do I have left in this video? Okay. Breath of the Wild is interesting. Like, it's a visually very gorgeous game. And, like, it's honestly, like, feels like crack when I, like, just get to explore huge sections of it. Although, I think I talked about, like, recently, like, you know how it's supposed to be, like, a open-ended game. Um. And you're, you're able to explore and go wherever you want, whenever you want. But like, recently I've ran into some places where it's just like, I couldn't explore anywhere without like, getting attacked by lightning, or like, getting struck down by lightning. Or like, 
I couldn't go everywhere without having to fight guardians everywhere. And I should actually learn how to fight guardians, because I've just been avoiding them. Um, it's just like, Breath of the Wild is lovely, and I've been like, doing more of the shrines. Like, I have like, almost... I think I only have like 17 of the shrines, like, completed so far, and... And two of the main dungeons, the Zora dungeon and the Goron dungeon. And those have been enjoyable. Like, I like the little gimmicks in each of those. I guess they feel a little repetitive, but, like, they've been alright. Um, I don't know, but I just feel like it's a game that I would appreciate more if I had, like, two or maybe like two or three hours to spend on it each day and really dive into it. So, because I'm in college, like I, I've been, I don't know, I haven't even been spending that much time on Undertale lately. I know I'm about to fight Undyne. And I've been going through some very lovely and relaxing areas like the waterfall and, I don't know, I'm interested to explore more of that game. But I can, like, I have such a light class schedule that I can come home and play Breath of the Wild if I please. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we just finished the forest level, and um, tune in next time to see what the rest of this game is going to look like and how things will unfold from here. Goodbye!